everyone to my tutorial for today. How are you? How is your business? How is your family? Thank you for checking up on me and for stopping by. Today we are just going to be making a simple fitted gown with a slit at the neckline. I'll be showing you the picture, but in place of that slit, I'll be putting zip. I hope it is clear. And I have here two yards of this fabric. That's what I'll be using for today's tutorial. Okay, this is just two yards. All right. Thank you for inspiring me. Thank you for your love. Thank you for being here. And if you are new, welcome to my tutorial. And before you leave, please feel free to subscribe by hitting on the red icon. And also, please help us to share our videos to give us more publicity. Okay. So I'll be cutting the lower part first of all. And as you can see from that picture, the sleeve is together with the bodies. So first I'll cut the skirt pattern. My fabric already is into two fold. I'll just need to fold again. I'll be using a zipper allowance of two inches. So I'll neatly arrange it, leaving a zipper allowance of two inches. So now neatly folded, this is two, two inches zipper allowance, okay? And the length of this lower part is 26 inches. I added two and a half inches extra for the fold and for seam allowance. nine inches below that's my hip line all right so the waist i'm working with is 40 into 4 is 10. i'll be adding three inches extra one for that two for seam allowance hip measurement is 45 into four is eleven and quarter with two inches seam allowance. So I'll just have to take this hip measurement down to the hemline. And when you do that at the hemline, I'll be removing two inches okay so the next thing will be to connect waist to hip hip to this two inches waist to hip if you have a hip curve better Okay, so I will now gently cut. So we we'll quickly move over to the upper part. But before then, let me just notch the exact length, 26 inches. Okay. All right, so for the 
but this here we go my half length is 16 inches this is excluding the band i am to put at the waistline area 16 inches i'm not adding any similar one so i'm just marking exactly 16 inches now like i said the bodice is together with the sleeve you decide how many inches you want your sleeve to be my own i'll be using a shoulder measurement of 27 inches with my sleeve inclusive please divided into two is 13.5 13.5 now my zipper allowance is two inches and like i said the slit at the front is going to be replaced with zip okay so i'll be putting zipper allowance both at the front and at the back okay so this is my 13.5 zipper allowance of two inches and then one inch for fold i hope you get that which will leave us at exactly this fold i hope you understand it this is my shoulder measurement with my sleeve please okay now assuming i was not putting zip at the front it would have been this way this would have been my zipper allowance but because i'm also putting zip at the front that's why i have zipper allowance both at the back and at the front i hope you get that all right so i've clearly marked out the zipper allowance for both the front and the back okay and this is a uh, 14 and a half inches i said one inch will be for fold so we have 14 and a half inches the shoulder measurement together with the sleeve that i'm using is 13 and a half but i added one inch extra for fold which left us at 14 and a half okay now my normal shoulder is eight inches which is here and three inches for shoulder slope so on my normal shoulder i'll come down by one inch join it to the three inches i'm sure we all need this one and then at this sleeve now remember this place is now the sleeve my shoulder ended here this is the sleeve i'll measure one and a half or two inches and then i'll extend the line okay the next thing will be to measure my bust line which is 12 inches Okay. Now my armhole measurement is nine inches. Okay. The bust line I started to measure from here, not from this slope, please. From this original line. Okay. But for my armhole, I started to measure from this slope. Okay. Now, on my bust line, I'll place my bust measurement. 45 inches into 4 is 11 and quarter. Sewing so allowance of 2 and a half inches. Okay. And my waist is 40 into 4 is 10. And I'll be adding three inches. Okay, so connecting the waist to the hip and then making a slight curve towards the armhole. I hope you see what I did. Okay, and please, my measurement started from the zip allowance, please, not from this fold. Remember, this is the zipper allowance. 
Okay, now for my neck, for the front, I will use three inches for my neck width and for my neck depth, I'll use four and a half inches. This is for the front, for the back, two inches, okay? I hope this is clear enough. This is the neck, back neckline. This is the front neckline. So I'll just cut. So this is what we have okay i will then need to open this front also the next thing i will do will be to cut the facing for both the back and the front except if you want to use a bias for yours so I have the facing cut out for both the front and the back. This is the back. I have two of it. And this is the front. I also have two of it. For those that will ask how you cut your facing, just place the fabric you already cut against the fresh one laid out. And then you just trace out the neckline. You should decide how big or small you want it to be. Okay, and just cut. I hope you get it. That's how we cut our facing. And then for my band, I have six inches. When I fold, it is three inches. I'll be using a band of two inches. That's why I cut three. So half inch for sewing at the upper part, half inch for sewing at the lower part. At the end of the day, I have the two inches I want left, okay? And then I cut it to the measurement of the circumference of my waistline. See my allowance inclusive. So the next thing I will do now is to, first of all, use a medium sized interlining at this neckline, okay? Not the facing, at the neckline. I'll just glue it, okay? You can see the fabric is a little bit stretchy, so I don't want the neck to go out of shape. So I'll use a medium size interlining to glue the neckline of both the front and the back. Okay, when I do that, I will then put my facing. Okay, okay, so I've done the facing, I hope you can see it. These are the two back panels. I also folded the sleeve. Okay. So for this back, I'm going to be inserting that. I'll simply fold into two like this and then insert my that for the back. Then for the front, I'll be putting a false that. That is to say, instead of to sew it this way, the normal way we do our that, I will just fold like this and then neatly press it. I hope you understand. So I will just fold it this way and stitch this lower part. Okay. When I do that, I will then attach my zipper for the front. Now, I folded using my iron. I've pressed out the zipper allowance for the front. So I'll be attaching the zipper at this front part, okay? When I do, I will cut off the excess. 
Then I will join them with the front and the back and the shoulder. Okay, so I've done the joining at the shoulder. I've also inserted the force that I hope you see it. And for the one at the back, it is pure that. I hope you see it. I also inserted that at the lower pieces. That is the skirt pattern. So the next thing I will do now will be to attach the band. Here you either join the two sides together first of all before attaching the band or you attach the band separately and then you join using the body measurement. I hope you get what I said. You either first of all join the two sides using the body measurement then attach a single band or you pieces your band so that you attach one here one here and one here now if you are doing this one it makes it easier for you to still shape your fabric in case you didn't get the accurate measurement but once you do that round band it means you can no longer do any other shaping except you will need to still remove that same band so whichever one that works for you you get it done like I said, my band is 2 inches, but I cut out 3 inches when on fold. So that by the time I join up and lower, I will have 2 inches left. So I'll go ahead now and join it. Okay, so I had to join the band separately. Okay, so that I can easily make adjustments if there is any. The next thing I will do now will be to join the lower part to the band and then close it up at the two sides using the body measurement. Of course, you should know that at the sleeve area, you just have to take it a little, okay? I hope you see this marking. You are moving this way. That's considering your measure your body measurement. You just pick the sleeve a little and then continue with your bust and your waist measure. Okay, so I've done the joining. Okay, I've also inserted the zip at the back. All that is left now will be to fold at the hemline and then use my hem gum to hem this part down so i will just do it now when you sew your own here endeavor to put a notch so that this armhole area will relax very very well so i'll go to the machine and fold the hemline and that will be all okay lovely people you can see the end product of our tutorial for today check out her back side and the front you can always look at the false dart here. I hope you see it, the effect. Okay, and the sleeve. You see how beautiful and fitted the dress is on her. Thank you for watching till the end. I sincerely and really, really appreciate all of you. And if you are yet to subscribe, feel free to hit the red icon to subscribe. And also tap on the notification bell so that once I upload, you get notified. Till we get to meet in my next tutorial, take very good care of yourself. Stay safe, be innovative, and don't forget your bag of kindness. Bye.